Well, welcome everyone. We are so glad you're with us. If you are watching on YouTube, this is evening prayer. Um, we have begun our worship week here at St. Peter's. It is the sixth week of Easter. If you would be so kind as to like and subscribe, give us the thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. We're at 150. We'd love to add more always. 151. Um, we're at 151 now? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. All right. Um, and uh, we are in the waning days of, of Eastertide, which is lovely. We are also in the week of rogation. Um, so if you have any farm implements or, or seeds or anything <clears throat> like that, this is the time to get them blessed. And uh, I have my little garden sink here. So I can't remember his name. What was his name? Oh. Does it start with an I? Might. Can't remember now off the top of my head. If you know in the if you know in the comments, you can score points against the priest. So all right, here we go. We're up and running. If you have any any um in any intercessions, please do tender those in the comment section if you're watching on Facebook Live. If you're watching on YouTube and put those into the comment section on YouTube, we will pray them over the next service. We check the comments regularly and make sure that we stay up to date with all your concerns of intercession and thanksgiving. But in all things, remember that we are praying for you and on your behalf. All right, here we go. Evening prayer for Monday the sixth week of Easter. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel. My heart teaches me night after night. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 77 and 79. I'll offer the odd, you guys will respond with the even. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. I think of God and I moan. I meditate and my spirit faints. You keep my eyelids from closing. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old and remember the years of long ago. I commune with my heart in the night. I meditate and search my spirit. Will the Lord spurn forever and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast love ceased forever? Are his promises at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his compassion? And I say, I say it, is it is my grief, grief that the right that the hand, hand of the, of the Most High has changed. changed. I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. 
I will meditate on all your work and muse on your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have displayed your might among the peoples. With your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. The very deep trembled. The clouds poured out water, the skies thundered, your arrows flashed on every side. The crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind, your lightnings lit up the world, the earth trembled and shook. Your way was through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. O oh God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the bodies of your servants to the birds of the air for food, the flesh of your faithful to the wild animals of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We have become a taunt to our neighbors, mocked and derided by those around us. How long, O oh Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your jealous wrath burn like fire? Pour out your anger on the nations that do not know you and on the kingdoms that do not call on your name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his habitation. Do not remember against us the iniquities of our ancestors. Let your compassion come speedily to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nation say, where is their God? Let the avenging of the outward blood of your servants be known among the nations before our eyes. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you according to your great power. Preserve those doomed to die. Return sevenfold into the bosom of our neighbors, the taunts with which they taunted you, O Lord. Then we, your people, the flock of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we will recount your praise. Glory to the Father, to the and Father. to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Colossus. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience while joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening, a song of Judith. Together, I will sing a new song to my God, for you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength and invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came into being. You sent your breath and it formed them. No one is able to resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you. But whoever fears the Lord shall stand in your sight forever. A reading from Luke. Once when Jesus was praying alone with only the disciples near him, he asked them, 
who do the crowd say that I am? They answered, John the Baptist, but others, Elijah, and still others that one of the ancient prophets has arisen. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Peter answered, the Messiah of God. He sternly ordered and commanded them not to tell anyone, saying, the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then he said to them all, if any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will save it. What does it profit them if they gain the whole world, but lose or forfeit themselves? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words, of them, the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his glory and the glory of the Father and of the holy angels. But truly, I tell you, there are some, st some standing here who will not taste death before they see the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this evening, a song of Christ's humanity. Together, though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your, grant salvation. Us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people, Let your people sing, sing with joy. With joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in For you, you can we live, live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice, justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving Let help you among, among all nations. nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope, Nor the hope of the poor, of the poor be, taken be taken away. away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain, and sustain us, with us with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. O God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. 
O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your intercessions and thanksgivings. Give thanks for my brother's graduation uh, with his bachelor's degree and give God thanks for the opportunity to work with all the AP kids this year. Pray for the repose of the soul of John. O God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray... Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. All right. Before we go, I have to look up the uh, <laughs> saint of gardeners. There we go. Roger Cook. Saint Fiacra. Oh. <laughs> that's not who i was thinking hmm. yeah, was that's not who you were thinking of no it, it oh. sounds like ignatius but it's not ignatius i'm looking at this it says fiacra i could be wrong look it up and bring it to, bring it to morning prayer tomorrow Okay, stay tuned, everybody. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us for evening prayer. We will see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for morning prayer. We have our vestry meeting tonight. Please pray for the governing body of our church and all of the leadership groups that report to them. We are looking forward to some wonderful projects this summer, and we're very excited about um, the deepening awareness we have of the life in Christ that uh, our vestry works so hard to sustain here at St. Peter's. As well, please do keep us in prayer as we get ready to welcome the bishop on ascension day um and we look forward to seeing you all throughout the worship week so 9 a.m for morning prayer 5 p.m for evening prayer tomorrow as well please do like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so whenever we're posting content to youtube you'll be notified of that at 151 subscribers please we appreciate the support but we ask you to keep on striving forward we're only a few more away from 10,000. <laughs> for now take care and god bless Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.